Allen. Eight laps of distance, top three to the A main. First of five for the Street Stock Street flag, here we go. Joe Brown, Michael Clark, Josh Griffin, the 61 of Curtis Reckon on the back straightaway. Mitch Hound gonna slide in for the fifth spot. Matt Dillon, sixth. Anderson, seventh. Opening lap, the judge, Joe Brown, gonna throw the gavel and look out. Josh Griffin in trouble. We're gonna keep her straight. Mitch Hahn digging to the inside. Good battle for the transfer spot with Curtis Reckie down the back straightaway. Give it a 188. Mitch Hahn. Hahn not a third. Reckie fourth. Good battle for fifth. Josh Griffin, the 89 of Matt Dillon. Jill Brown continues to lead him here in the lead in Speedway. Quickly two in a book, six to go. Opening heat race. First of five for the street stock. Again, Vallejo Racing bringing you street stock. Heat number one, all part of the Earl J. Huber Memorial here tonight. Three up, five to go. Joe Brown continues to lead. Five laps remain up there on the Grizz Memorial scoreboard. All cars work in the middle of the speedway as Joe Brown continues to show the way. Michael Clark in 91 trying to run him down. Mitch Hahn second, Curtis Racky runs in that, or excuse me, Mitch Hahn third, Racky fourth, Dylan fifth, Griffith, and in the 3A of Kyle Anderson. To a janky. Ryan Anderson and Tony Hemp. Two to go this time by. Joe Brown's gonna have to negotiate lap time, but it comes Michael Clark in the final lap. Down the back straight over, they're gonna look for the white rag. One to go this time by. Can Michael Clark run down Joe Brown to the inside? Brown's gonna find the white flag first, but here comes Michael Clark. Third looks to be secured by the 180 to Mitch Hahn. Final top, down the back straightaway. Their fastest qualifier tonight. Looking to start on the pole. Heat number one from Vallejo Racing Incorporated goes to Joe Brown. Clark will take second. Mitch Hahn third, fourth to Kurt Racky, fifth. Matt Dillon, sixth. Josh Griffith, winner. In the B9, he gets the job done. How about a race fans for Joe Brown? Eight laps of distance, top three to the A main. Heat number two brought to you by Miller Hydraulic Service Incorporated. It's green off turn number four. Here we go. Top three transfer, Dane Arvin gonna jump out to the race lead, but here comes D squared down the back, straight away the double deuce, Daryl Dick. In hot pursuit, quickly goes to the bottom is the 75 of Mike Beam. Three transfer, Al Gray running in that fourth spot. Andy Thompson running the fifth spot. We'll see if anybody can get that upstairs working here early on. Al Gray trying to find a way by Mike Beam in the 75. So 7, 5, 7, 7, and 6, 3. A one. Oh, and a slider from Andy Thompson on the 77 of Al Gray. And Al Gray can't get it back, so Andy Thompson going to get a fourth. Back up front, it's Dane Arvin in the 09. The 22 of Daryl Dick, the 75 of Mike Beam. Your top three right now. Here comes the 63 of Andy Thompson, though. Got a pretty good hot rod. Pete O'Dell marred back there in six. We'll see if 37 of Pete O'Dell can get her going. Four to go. Halfway home this time by Dane Arvin, Daryl Ding. Run one, two. Mike Bean trying to hold off the charging Andy Thompson. Al Gray right there as well. They work right in the middle of the speedway all the way around. Again, no invert here tonight. They started them straight up. And they are just buzzing right around the bottom, the middle of the speedway. Dane Arvin doing a fine job in 09. Continues to show the way. Daryl Dick second. Mike Beam third. Thompson fourth. Gray fifth. Pete O'Dell sixth. Gilmore seventh. Bow Hurt eighth. And ninth is the 15 of Gray Roberts. Half a mile to go. Two laps remain. White flag this time by Dane Arvin continues to impress, but here comes Daryl Dick in the late stage into this one. Can he run him down? Final lap, one to go. Arvin continues to show the way. Daryl Dick, a car length and closing. Final lap down the back straightaway. Mike Beam seems to have the third place. Final transfer spot. Your winner off of turn number four, Dane Arvin. Daryl Dick second. Mike Beam in 75. Going to take third. Thompson fourth. 
second, and your winner as he comes across the scale in the 0-9. Let's hear it for Dane Arvin. The number three of five. Again, this is brought to you by Hendricks Town and Country. Nick Macklin and Earl Park, Indiana's 99 defending champion, Jerry Crick of the front row. Here we go. Dave Crowley Jr. in the 22, 83 as well. That is Justin Ham down the back straight away there, two by two. We'll see if we can wide out this quarter mile for you. Can Jerry Crick get to the front in 99? He's sliding up this middle. Here comes Justin Ham at 83 now. Three transfer, Justin Hammond, 83, digging for second on the, in the middle of the speedway down, down to the bottom. Dave Crowley Jr. wants peace in 22, and he gives Ham a shot. Now trying to work in the middle of the speedway. Those three cars battle to hold on to her down the front, straight over there, almost three wide. Right behind your leader, Nick Macklin, Dave Crowley Jr. going to make it three wide down the back straight away. Here comes Hammond, 83. Dave Crowley Jr. trying to fit it in there. He's got some contact with the 83. And here they come off at turn number four. What a race. Jared Crick now. Jared Crick and nine and now they're three wide race fans for the second spot. Oh, baby. The Earl J. Huber Memorial getting fallsy early on. Dave Crowley Jr. sticks it in the Earl Parks. Indiana comes Jared Crick to the outside. What action here at E number three. Oh, Nick Macklin under attack. DC. J. Dave Crowley Jr. and double deuce. Nick Macklin. Here comes Jared Crick. They're looking to go three wide up a four. Oh, baby. Got it. Jared Crick to the race lead. Three to go. Dave Crowley Jr. might have the fastest hot rod. He just can't get by the 16 of Nick Macklin. This one's going to get good. Two to go this time by three. Transfer comes Justin Ham. Looking to make it almost four wide. Three wide for the race lead. Jared Crick, Nick Macklin, and Dave Crowley Jr. Crowley Jr. leaning on Nick Macklin, trying to get his nose down in there for a second. Macklin going to hold on, but here comes Crowley Jr. now. Jared Crick out to the race lead. Coming down with a white flag. Oh, and he got into the inside tire. Crick will hold the lead. Macklin second. Crowley Jr. all the way back to third. Justin Ham fourth. Final time. Down the back straightaway. Your defending champion looking to start on the front road of Earl Park, Indiana. Jared Crick wins heat number three. Wow. Macklin second, Dave Crowley Jr. comes home third, Justin Ham fourth, Jared Craig. Oh my, just widen out this quarter mile. We got some good stuff there early on in that one. I rip it at 189. He's my favorite. Don't tell anybody. I can't be biased. Here we go. Green's out. We're underway. Barry Souter digging to the inside of A.J. Meifer. Meifer going to take the race lead down the back straight away. Chris Dick going to go to third. Now he's going to step to the outside of seven of Sean Leatherman. Chris Dick making a living there. They're going to go three wide for the transfer spot on four. Oh, my. Her holding 70. Chucky, her holding 70. Look out in that 70. He's going to make it fit down the back straight away. Doug Burbaum down back to fifth. Seven of Sean Leatherman going to dive to the inside. Chris Dick to the outside. The battle side by side for the third and final transfer spot down to the... Stripe is dead even. Two and a book, six to go. The 14 of A.J. Meiford showing the way. Leatherman trying to hold that third spot. Chris Dick in fourth. Her holding the 70, running in the fifth spot. Three transfer. Two car breakout here. Performance bodies. Heat number four. A.J. Meiford up front of this one. Barry Souter second. Three cars battle it out. Oh, problems for the 818 of Matt Hammond into the back stretch. Wall will stay green. Now Chris Dick in that 22, trying to get down to the inside of the seven of Sean Leatherman. And a promise for the high side, Hillbilly will keep it straight. We'll stay in green. Five of the books, three to go. It's all A.J. Meifert. Barry Souter second. The battle for third is where it's at. Three cars, Duke it out for the transfer spot. Seven of Sean Leatherman, the 22 at Chris Dick, and the 70 at Charlie Herhole. Back up front, Barry Souter trying to run down Meifert. Can't get quite to his bumper. Two to go this time by. Here comes Chris Dick again and on the seven of Sean Leatherman down the back straight away. Trying to use that momentum. He swings all the way to the wall, back down to the inside. Here comes the double deuce looking for the transfer spot up at turn number four. Who's it going to be? The battle for third. Watch that battle, Meinford. 
And Osmond up in smoke down on the uh, infield. Chris Dick now for the third and final transfer spot. Final time, your winner of heat number four for performance bodies. It is A.J. Meifert, Barry Souter, and down to the line, Sean Leatherman. So Leatherman will take third. Chris Dick fourth, fifth. They'll go to the 70 at Charlie Herold. So Meifert's in. He's your winner, heat number five. CR two in a recovery, heat number five, ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank Meineke at Bourbon A and Lifesaver Ignition Interlock. In the final heat, heat number five, CNR two in a recovery is sponsoring off four, final heat. Here we go. Jeremy Nichols at J24, going to take her all the way to the cushion, down the back straight away, and Keller going to shield away. Down the back straight away. Go. Oh, and Rick Thomas gets into Jeremy Nichols. Nichols sliding you. And a little bit of contact. A caution will come out. So, Nichols. Sunday. Hey, we'll tell you more about it next week. Here we go. Ian Keller, complete restart alongside of Jeremy Nichols. Rick Thomas, Ken Gresham, three advance. Here we go. Much better start this time, Ian Keller. Again, Jeremy Nichols going to slide way up the hill. Rick Thomas going to take second away from him down the back straight away. This time, Nichols just going to jump in line and look for that uh, third spot. Now, Rick Thomas down to the bottom of Ian Keller. is going to work side by side. As Ian Keller now going to work that high side. So this is something new. Uh, Keller on the high side. Thomas on the bottom. There's Jeremy Nichols. Oh, man. Nichols looks to the inside of Thomas. Thomas not going to give an inch. Nichols trying to take a foot. Oh, baby. They're three wide for the race lead up into number four. Oh, he number five, looking to be a good one. And you're not going to pass Rick Thomas on the bottom. I promise you that, Jeremy. There's no way the caution comes out. Doggone it. Boy, that one's fixing to be a good. As the caution comes out, we got a car into the tire. Looks like he tried to dukes a hazard it. And the tire had better ideas. Caution out. I believe four. So. Delaware double file restart. Your leader out front by himself. Thomas chooses the bottom. Nichols to the top. Here we go. Keller going to go right back to the top. Nichols going to work in the middle. Thomas on the bottom. They're going to be three wide for the race lead. Six to go. Heat number five. Three wide almost behind them. So a slide job from Jeremy Nichols on Ian Keller. Oh, baby. Nichols lets him go by. Keller on the high side, he's got to get to the bottom. Nichols is wide, wide, and hands him down the back straightaway. Still side by side. Nichols for the race lead, a slide job on Ian Keller. Can the Batmobile take it? He will. Jay Smooth to the race lead. Four to go. Jeremy Nichols on the, right in the middle of the speedway. Ian Keller on the top. Rick Thomas on the bottom. Great battle behind them. That's Ken Gresham, Andrew Funk, and Michael Shomis. They'll come down three to go. Jeremy Nichols showing the way. Jeremy Nichols, 67. Here he comes down the backstretch. Got a run at him. Here comes Ian Keller now. Jeremy Nichols slipped up just a bit. Now he's going to drive all the way to the bottom. Rick Thomas is there. Here comes Ian Keller. They got two to go. This one ain't over yet. Ian Keller again, a big part of last year's uh, last year's Earl J. Hubert Memorial. Can he win? He number five. He's got to find a way around Decatur's Jeremy Nichols. He's running right in the middle of the speedway. This one ain't over yet. White flag. One to go. See if Kevin Quimby becomes a part of this in the 96. Keller right there down the back straightaway. Is he going to go high or go low? Nichols goes low. Keller to follow. Final time off four. Jeremy Nichols wins. Heat number five. Keller second. Third will go to Rick Thomas. Fourth, Andrew Funk. So the hard charging Andrew Funk will get a good start in the B main. Pause, ladies and gentlemen. Jeremy Nichols. What a race. Nichols gets the thumbs up. He'll be in the dash. 